because we enjoy expensive wine. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and good night and good morning, wherever you may be. Um, Ohio, that's, that's Japanese for good morning. Um, it is. It is. <laughs> Konnichiwa is good afternoon, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, good evening. We are on Supernova Saturdays, and we have a special guest, uh, Bite Me Bambi. And there is Bambi, a.k.a. Talina. How you doing? Hi. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good with some uh, good beverage of wine here, which, you know, is becoming... What, you mean this? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Cheers to you. I came ready. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Cheers. Thank you. You take a sip. Just That's a sip. Stuff. <laughs> Because it's Saturday night, and what else are we going to do but drink and listen to music and enjoy some shows, yeah? Right? Yeah. This, I mean, quarantine. Mean. What else are we going to I mean, I was doing that before quarantine, but, you know. No, no, no quarantine. No quarantine. Stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, stay at home. Stay at home. The algorithms yeah. won't like us if we say. <laughs> so it's stay at Don't home. say it. No. That's not the word. So how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm great, actually. You know, awesome. I'm healthy uh, and I feel very, very lucky for that. So I can't complain. You know, it would be nice to see my friends and leave the house. But other than that, I'm doing well. How are you? I, I think oh, I'm not so bad, but I, I think I think you see your friends all the time because anytime you post something and like thousands of people just say, hey, 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 that's true. Can you imagine back when they did this in like 1918? Like how like there is no Internet. How would you live? Without Netflix, what did everybody do to entertain themselves? No. They had carrier Ugh. pigeons. They had right. board games. They had I sound like such a millennial over here. Like, it's oh, okay. without well, my Instagram. Let, let me tell you about what it used to be like. <laughs> <laughs> but you're very active online. You kill it online. I, I see you. Thank you're you. Everywhere. Are you doing it yourself or do you have like a team of elves in the back room? Oh, I wish I had a team of elves. Do you know where I could get a team of elves? No, I, no I fo, uh, no do it. A couple of members of Bite Me Bambi run the Bite Me Bambi account. And then I've got my own personal account, but um, it's the only way we can like reach out with fans right now. So it's been really helpful to be able to, you know, post videos and covers and fun things. And there's, you know, a lot of engagement, which is really nice. So Yeah. I see. I see you. Um, collaborating a lot i see a lot of a lot of videos with you guys yeah. working with other artists and stuff that's crazy that's, it's so and funny doing it in the covid yeah which is so funny because like i remember telling tara from half past two when we did the dance hall crashers one i was like why did it take a pandemic for us to realize that we could all make a video together like we could have been doing this the whole time but then all of a sudden everyone was like wait a minute you're in you know philadelphia and i'm here but we could still make a song and you know that's that really great cool. how did what, were you just swapping files back and forth yeah so t for that one um everybody recorded their parts separately and then um we had david irish at pot of gold here in orange county he mixed and mastered it and then we all just recorded our own video and then chris Grau um edited it all together so and to he put in the part where i like fake guitar solo and look stupid and i explicitly was like i didn't think you were gonna put don't put that in there and then of course it shows up of me being like me, me. and we and all then i just did it. it again and we did it <laughs> how's that <laughs> that is the voice of johnny bravo in the back ladies and gentlemen telling me the center of my video Woo are you, on, are, 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 you, are you being heard, John? Do you want me to be heard? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? So, so during, this, during this time, I, I know, I'm, well, I'm, I understand because I'm learning about you myself. You're an actress and you're a, a singer-songwriter. Yes? Yes. I, I used to be much more active in my acting career. Um, but I, I kind of slowed up because I like I wanted to focus on music and focus on Bite Me Bambi more. Um, but yeah, I did that for a good many years. <laughs> yes, I started so, when I was fifteen. Oh wow! Yeah. So you're, well, you're that, real. Yeah, go on. Sorry, no. Oh. I was just gonna say that's why I started doing television and movies. I have been a ham my entire life. 
as my parents often love to point out. And so um, I was performing in musicals and stuff when I was like a really young kid, like nine years old, I started doing that. And then I did uh, started TV and film when I was 15. Um, I did it for maybe like 10 plus years. And um, wow. Yeah, long time. And I, I liked it. It just it takes a lot of your time. And so does being in a band. And I was really enjoying, you know, doing Bite Me Bambi and everything. And so I decided to kind of like take a breather on that and, and do more uh, music stuff. Well, we're going to get into all of that. Let me, well, let's shout out, let's shout out to some of your band members. OK, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Brian Mashburn on guitar. Uh, we have Ryan Brown on bass. Mike Burrell on the keys, Dan Evans on the drums, Kyle O'Donnell on the sax, and T-Bone Willie on the trombone. So the whole I'm seven of us. <laughs> I'm understanding it's like a superstar band. Like, the bands came from other top-notch yes. bands. So these, <laughs> these are like veteran, veteran um, musicians. Yes, everyone is a superstar uh, except me. No, so we have two members from Safe Ferris. We have Mike, who is in My Superhero, and then Kyle. Uh, well, Kyle's played with, like, Lord. Kyle's played Grammy events. He plays with and Tom Kenny in the high seas. And Tom Kenny is the voice of SpongeBob. He has a band. Kyle plays with him. Kyle plays everybody. He's super talented. Um, and then uh, he was in Starpool as well, which was a super group formed of Safe Ferris and No Doubt. Um, and then uh, Dan is in Half Past Two, and Dan is in um, uh, Dan was in Starpool as well. So he's got wow. a whole yeah uh, thing going on <laughs> see, so you've got it you've got it all covered for any genre that you want to want to touch in a little traditional you know scott punk a little bit of trash yeah you got yeah we've really tried to we're all really big two-tone fans let's see so um we really wanted to have our sound kind of harken back to that but also some of the third wave because like you know brian mashburn was in the thick of writing all the songs in the third wave in Orange County. And so, you know, we kind of wanted to do some of that stuff too. So we tried to make it sort of a, a mishmash and uh, mm. that kind of became the Bite Me Bambi sound, I guess yeah. you could say. <laughs> have, have you ever ventured into like any other slower, like the rock steady or any of the, the, you know, like the reggae covers, anything, anything like that on that, on that level? I want to hear, I want to hear you croon. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's funny. We have a song called uh, Let Me Love You, which is sort of like a slower, like sunshine reggae, like bouncy song that we do live that will probably end up on our next uh, batch of recordings. Um, and then we actually have a couple songs in the works. We've been writing a lot during the lockdown. Um, and so <laughs> there's a couple, <laughs> there's a couple more sort of like rock steady, sort of like that kind of vibe. Sweet. Um, yeah. Sweet. I'm kind of I'm kind of digging that now because because of the lockdown, <laughs> I, I'm kind of you know my my energy is just trying to chill. You know mm -hmm. I'm usually I'm really a hyper dude with within the music, but I've been finding myself reflecting and having time to just chill, just listen to some soft. Yeah, stuff. that's always my Sunday morning playlist. I get up and I put on like I throw on a Trojan record on the yeah. record player and just sort of like chill out and wake up and it's great music. I'm I'm a big rock steady lover so <laughs> so you're into the two-tone what what who or which band kind of influenced you into making the music that you make now mm -hmm. i think definitely the selector because of pauline black and i met yes. her once and i almost just died it was great um, <laughs> uh, and i think a lot of like the specials because we did the cover i'm a really big specials fan um, you know, Madness, I, they got like poppier and stuff, which is cool, but I don't know. I'm more of a fan of like English beat specials. Oh, kind of yes, yes, yes. And you know, he's on, um, um, Dave is on the West coast. Have you met him yet? Yeah. I, you know, we haven't officially met. We sort of like milled around, you know, same backstage or whatever, but, um, yeah, a lot of my friends have played with Dave and stuff. So yeah, he's not that far. He's maybe like, I think he lives down South, so he's not too far from where I am, but yeah. I like I like that kind of stuff. And then um, I, Elvis Costello, I, it's funny. When I first started listening to a lot of Elvis Costello, it wasn't my favorite, but it's really growing on me lately. Oh, so. he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. Don't he at me, just... everybody. Don't at me for saying that. No, no. <laughs> Elvis Costello is amazing. That's, he's really that's... great. I think as I 
as I write more and more, um, I think I have a lot, yeah, I have a bigger uh, appreciation for his music, definitely. Because I, I'm so yeah. theatrical. I'm like all about the flash. So you know, anything yeah. that had like you know big, you know, you know, brass sections and all that kind of stuff, like the specials, especially like when you watch. Uh, there's the video of them. I don't know what show it was. If it was from Dance Craze, but they did the Skinhead Symphony, and like they bring all the kids up on stage to dance, and like I just. I'm like, that's so cool. Like, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to be. Like, <laughs> a freaking party, right? It's just fun. Okay. So you, you brought a couple of uh, songs with you, videos with you? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, we're going to jump We're going to jump in some videos and we're going to come back and we're going to talk. Do not that's finish great. all of your wine yet, okay? <laughs> okay. Do not. All right, chill. Johnny Bravo. Hello? Hello? Could you play the next video, please?
Lollipop and her dog. My boy Lollipop. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the building here. Let me stop the video. Hello, hello. I'm having too much fun here. Maybe it's not fair. <laughs> but it's, it's the wine. Fair. It's, no, it's the company that now keeps this. Oh, very sweet. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it it's true. And the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly wine, but a little company, I guess. The company is good. <laughs> so we just we we just watched a few of your videos here and they look uh they look really well done very well done thank you that's all yeah. chris growl ladies and gentlemen he gets all the credit he always makes big, us look good big up chris man big up chris it's, it's amazing mm -hmm. really really good job and and you chose these songs you, you chose this special you, we did speak about that but you you chose the specials and you chose uh millie smalls yes that was from we did uh like uh quarantine covers uh excuse me lockdown covers stay home. um yeah. and <laughs> stay at home covers <laughs> and we had asked um for fans on the internet to request songs and that was one that somebody requested um so we did it uh right actually it was very quickly before uh she passed away so mm. Mm. so was, she got uh, to she may have gotten to hear it i highly doubt that but <laughs> it would be you, nice. you never know you never know you never you never you know, never the know. Internet, right you never know. but yeah it was it was very fun to be able to do that um and uh it was it's just like a bouncy fun i really like kyle's sax lines that he put in there it's just real bouncy and fun so i want i want to shout out jamaica while we're while we're jumping on all of these these yes. artists because definitely it's the independence now so we got to shout out jamaica for their independence day again i believe it's like 58 I could be wrong. I, 53 54 i can't remember but they but shout out jamaica on there anyway um so we got some questions here from some alias person. I know this is not her name, but anyway, her name is Lou Riddell. <laughs> this is not her name, but I know her name. And she asks, can you, can you tell us about the band's name and the origin and the meaning? Yes. So um, Bite Me Bambi comes from the movie Josie and the Pussycats that was made in the early 2000s. Um, it was a movie that I saw as a kid. It was the first PG-13 movie I was ever allowed to see. And uh, it's got three really cool kick-ass chicks playing in a band. And so I really thought that was awesome and wanted to be those people and, you know, put the CD in my karaoke machine and like sang all the time and was super into it. So when we formed Bite Me Bambi, we had a really hard time thinking of a name. And T-Bone had told me that in another band he was in, they had like started reading through movie scripts to come up with a name. And so I started reading through the Josie and the Pussycats movie script to try and come up with a name. And one of the characters within the first couple pages goes, Oh, bite me, Bambi. 
And so I went, bite me Bambi. And I texted everybody and they were like, yeah, that's cool. That works. I was like, cool. I like it. Like, <laughs> and so they went with it after that. So you've taken on the name Bambi, I think. Like, that's... I, mean, I think a lot of people call me that, and that's totally fine. Everyone can just call me that. I don't mind. Talina is a mouthful. <laughs> oh, totally fine. Talina Chikami is a name. So. <laughs> okay, Bambi. It's, it's, we rolling with Bambi Perfect. tonight. I like it. I'm into I it. I like it, too. I like it, too. <laughs> Another question says, we definitely need news on an album from them. Spill the tea on Supernova. Okay, so... Everybody is asking about the album. So what we've been doing is uh, we've been recording. So we have an EP recorded. It's done. And it's our first EP. And we've been releasing the songs with videos, each one, which is fun, but it takes time. So we're still, we have videos still in the works that we're going to be releasing. And then we'll release the whole thing as an EP on like Apple Music, Spotify, all the streaming services. Um, and then soon we're going to go in the studio to work on the second EP. It might be a full album. We're not sure yet, but we've, we've got quite a bit of songs. So um, that, that we got nothing but time. From, that, this is true. That question came from Brian Mitchell. I don't know where you, what part of the world you're in, Brian, but uh, thank you for the question. And that other question came from Lou Riddell, a.k.a. Rebecca. I cannot remember your last name. Rebecca, I know that's you. Anyway, so where are we now? <clears throat> <clears throat> throat dry. Oh, you need wine. You need wine. Okay. <laughs> Important. Did everybody know they were actually tuning into um Cooley and Talina's wine club? Did they know? Listen, oh. listen. listen, I also do have my agua. Me too. Me too. Because I need the water as well. As I'll, I'll be singing some songs here that have no relevance to the to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay hydrated it's important it's like 1000 degrees here in california so yeah, what is it you got like all these these uh these fires going on over there california is always on fire unfortunately it feels like yeah we uh it's very dry and hot so it's a recipe for a lot of fires Scar, Re recipe for ska music it seems uh, also with ska music, yes. <laughs> it must be it must be West Way the ska so fast, right? Because you guys are running from the fire. Yeah, it's true. We have a Is lot of it? ska, a lot of fires, <laughs> and we have Disneyland. I don't know what more people could want. No. <laughs> the thing that I've noticed about the California bands is always theatrical, it's like it's staged. Like we're, I think, on the East Coast, we're more raw, and we just we just play. But you guys have this. There's fine-tuned machines that you guys put out. You put out, you put out acts. You know what I mean? Like acts. Yeah. You guys put out acts. We we don't we don't, I, we put out bands. Like right? we just put out bands, but we don't really take the time to do like the choreography. And you guys do all of that, man. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh, well, man. it's funny. Um, I learned recently in Japan, they have like a ooh, excuse me, they have like a position. I can't remember what the term is. It's like a band director, and so they hire these people to like help them with their stage show and like choreograph the moves and everything and i'm like that's really interesting so a lot of like i had a friend be like oh yeah he was also the band director for oriska or whatever you know and i was like oh i didn't know that was a job like that's really interesting so we don't yeah. have that but we try and we try and put a fun show together for everybody entertain people we just wanted to feel you know Life is hard out there, so we just want it to feel like a good time, you know? <laughs> just want to have fun. You might get drunk with your friends. You want to, you know, sing, put your arm around and sing with somebody you've never met before. Like, you know, right. the Scott community is, like, so cool. So I'm just happy to be a part it, of it. It is. Someone says to me, his, oh, actually, his name is Clinton. I'm just going to go with Clinton because I don't want to mess up your name, Clinton. What do you find most interesting about the current generation of Scott? Ooh, that's a really good question, Clinton. Uh, it is. No, <laughs> uh, you may need a drink. I know, right? Well, hold on. <laughs> How much time do we have, guys? No. Okay. No, I, I, feel, I feel really positive about what's going on in the scene right now. Just because with the advent of the internet, you can find people who like ska music all over the world. 
And I think that's really neat. Like I get to see a band in Indonesia, like I get to see their music videos and, you know, people all over the world right. get to see ours and you get to collab, right? Like, you know, I'm hoping we can collab with some bands that are international coming up. Like it's neat with the advent of the internet that we can all kind of find each other because right. I, people love to go, Oh, Scott's dead. Scott's not dead. I don't, Scott, it's never dead. Right. It, we just oh. dip in and out of the mainstream. And, you know, but the people who love it, like they get it and we're all here. We're all going to keep doing it. Like I'm never not going to play ska music. It's my favorite kind of music, like oh, you know? Great. So it's like, it's cool that we can all band together. And I think a lot of bands are putting out really cool and interesting music and, you know, yeah. all over the country. Like here we got, you know, bands like Half Past Two and stuff and East Coast guys at Cat Bite and everything and you know stop the presses is putting out really cool music and you mm. know scott to network i mean he excuse me they really put out like jared has done putting scott out to people who like wouldn't normally see it and i think that that's yeah. really that's a really neat thing and a cool opportunity and yeah. so i think it's a uh, it's cool that everybody's sort of doing their own thing and i think people are challenging the genre too and i think that that's really neat you know, and and people like the interrupters. I mean, the interrupters were in the Umbrella Academy. You know, uh, just on Netflix, their song was in there, and you know, out here their song gets a lot of radio play. Like, it's yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, are there any bands? Like, are there any bands that you say that you would like to collaborate with? You said international bands. Are there any that's on your list or on your radar? Ori Ska Band. I love Ori Ska Band. <laughs> Big fan. I do too. And uh, I, we've kind of talked back and forth. We have a mutual friend. And so I'm hoping maybe to work or Mason's party from Japan too is like a super fun party band. They're great. So um, we have a lot of, we've got some ties to the, to the Japanese scene. And so I really enjoy all their music and it'd be super fun to, to collaborate with them. So that's why we did this. Well, that's not why, but one of the reasons I did that <laughs> okay. in Japanese, which was a challenge since I don't yeah. speak Japanese. Yeah. But, but you did. Uh, yeah, we did. It. it was fun. It was interesting. I mean, I felt a little guilty. I'm half Japanese. So I felt like kind of like, oh, I should know how to speak oh. Japanese. But um, <laughs> it was uh, it was really fun to do. My our friend Ray and Saki actually um, from Mason's party and formerly Ori Scott, she and Ray uh, worked on it together. Ray's uh, one of the producers of the spa movie. They translated it for me. And then I know Ray. Ray. Yeah, Ray flew down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know Ray. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know Ray. Ray flew down and then bless his heart. And Cameron Webb, who recorded the song, they sat in the booth while I like struggled through these Japanese lyrics. And Ray would be like, um, it's this. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And then they just let me like try and roll through it. But it was a cool challenge. It was fun. We had a good time with it. Well, I, I got did, another, maybe they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got another question for you. It says, mm -hmm. um, tell us about your beautiful name, Talina. <laughs> it sounds like my mom's Portuguese name, Helena, which oh, was pronounced similar similar to yours but yours is not portuguese okay how does your name come about let's hear the, let's hear the story okay this is the story so uh my name is cherokee it's native american um my mom's best friend when she was younger my mom lived on the um cherokee reservation her best friend was named talina and it means to walk with caution and so we uh my mom was like if you name your kid you know whatever they'll embody it and i don't think i embody walking with caution at all um except for my massive anxiety <laughs> but other than that <laughs> i don't think i'm you know but uh what's ironic about it is that uh we thought we were cherokee um and then my uncle took a dna test and we are not cherokee and so i'm just walking cultural appropriation so i'm sorry to all of my native friends out there i <laughs> do not mean to be walking cultural appropriation but here we are. Uh, that question came from Lou Riddell, a.k.a. Rebecca. This <laughs> is a, Rebecca's got good questions. She's got good questions. The questions, I think someone in the background, um, Mr. Oz, he's asking, are there going to be any more collaborations with Half Past Two? I'm sure at some point there will be. We don't have anything on the books at the moment, but like you can't can't keep Tara and I apart. Like, let's mm. be real. Mm. The voice of the, of, the, of, of the West. Yeah, Tara and I uh, have grown to have such a great friendship. So even when we're not playing music, we're still, you know, drinking too many tiki cocktails or whatever, you know, <laughs> having a good time. 
So what is what is life like now in California with with the um, lockdown? Let's say the lockdown. What is life it's, like? It's uh, you know, it's interesting. Where I live in Southern California, we've had some places that have been very like not wanting to wear masks, not wanting like kind of ignoring it, and that's been kind of tough. Um, but for the most part, we can eat outside at restaurants. We can you know do takeout and stuff. You got to get a haircut outside. You can't get a haircut indoors. Um, which is why we all have quarantine hair. And, um, <laughs> but other than that, a lot of people still working from home. Um, but it's not, it's not as locked down as it was before, but we, we were open way more and then had to scale back. Are you doing any, are there any venues or parking lots that are doing like kind of drive, drive through, um, shows yeah. and stuff like that? That's, that's yeah. happening? That big acts though, um, we've been kind of trying to rack our brains to see how we could do it here. Um, where, who would have a parking lot big enough and like these sorts of things, um, but it hasn't really worked out so far, but we're still trying to kind of make that happen and be safe. But we're for bigger acts, like um, uh, I live not too far from Angels, like Angels Baseball Stadium and they've been having concerts there with, I think Ozomotli, wow. I think Fishbone played. Actually, yeah. I think Fishbone did one. I don't know if they did it there, but I saw it not that long ago. So I'm hoping that, that we can kind of make a smaller version for our local ska scene. I was just miss, I miss seeing everybody. You know? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty strange right now not being able to play. And um, they, they want you to, they want, they're breaking it down. Like you have to go acoustic or something like that. Now you have to just come with like a, a guitar player and somebody just beating a stick or something like that. It's like, that's <laughs> well, not really I'm not going to like, horns are like COVID machines. Is, you know what I mean? Like people just like <laughs> blowing air and then they like, you see that like nasty spit valve thing on the floor and you're just like, oh cool. Like we, we recorded, we just recorded, we laid down the track for something that's coming out later. And like, we were like, okay, put the horns in there so they can blow the COVID around. Like everyone else, like in here with your mask on, like, you know, <laughs> that's the problem. Sky's just COVID machine. Um, you mean stay at home machines, but uh, anyway. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Stay it's at okay. Home machines. We don't want the video bumped. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is what we do on a Saturday night. Uh, this is, um, this is part of the new generation of Sky. That's who, that's who you are to me and I think thank you you're doing it you're doing it well you're doing it very well and you're actually showing you're showing my people like myself new tricks because uh I don't use I don't really I use it you know the internet to an extent but not in the manner that you guys are just assaulting this thing and I'm like god damn the videos thank come you. out yeah you guys are really taking charge of this thing here and you know with the virtual the virtual listening, playing, and doing concerts, stuff like that. Uh, just lost it. Well, you know, we kind of just had to learn out of like, what else were we going to do? It's been interesting because with all of this, we've sort of, there's been pros and cons, right? Like all of our tours got canceled. Like all of, obviously they were all, and it was a bummer. We were being taken out with some pretty big acts this summer we were supposed to be and that like kind of blew and we were upset but i don't we trended on reddit a little while ago like i don't think that would have ever happened if we hadn't been in lockdown you know so it's got pros and cons and it's forced us to get more creative and it's you know forced us to sort of figure out the video thing you know what works what doesn't what people want to see what you know is a waste of time and so that's been kind of interesting but it is cool in that you can really have a lot of engagement with your fans that maybe people who live in another country or across the country from you, like you wouldn't be able to have that be unless you toured there. So mm. it's really neat to be able to talk with people from all over the world. Like I've met some of the most interesting people through ska music and I get to talk to people like you, right? Like, I mean, you're like legend. So it's, this it's is cool. True. To <laughs> legend, legend. Does that, cool mean to I'm on the, does that mean I'm on the ledge? I'm on the, on the end of the ledge. I don't know, but check this out. Do you think, here's a question for you. Do you think that all the, with all these virtual concerts, right? Do you think it's overkill if an artist goes on every week? Or do you think that's necessary? Hmm, that's interesting. That's been something that I've been worried about is like fatigue. Like that's one of the reasons why we kind of scaled back the covers that we were just doing in our homes. 
uh, cause they were worried that people were just gonna be like, okay, I've seen you like stare into your laptop and sing a song, like I'm over it. But yeah. from like Kyle, our sax player, he plays in like jazz bands and stuff. And a lot of his friends have gone on and done concerts all the time. And it's done super well, you know, where they're just playing in their homes just, and people want to hear it. So he, he was telling me about a friend of his who's in a wedding band and obviously they can't play weddings. So they just started like playing a bunch of like danceable hits and people turn up to watch it. So I, I think there's just, people are looking for something to do. And I think what's cool about the live streams is you can watch with other people. Like I remember was when the supernova festival, like all of my friends were like, Oh, like I'm getting my like cocktails together and my dinner <laughs> and like, we're all watching together. And we were, everyone's like chatting and stuff. And so I think that's like a really cool environment that sort of, feels more like a, a live show experience you know uh, i mean not totally but more like it you know yeah okay did you answer my question <laughs> <laughs> no i think it's fine i think it's fine sorry <laughs> i'm a big talker i'm sorry just be like, no, no, you're done no 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 i'm just i was just wondering like as an individual i i hear it as a I have it as a like a concert series. I can I, I respect that and I can I can get that. But you think as an individual, so like like me, I don't think I would go and sing every day or like every weekend because I think people would get tired of hearing me. You know what I mean? So I I don't even do it. <laughs> but you have like, to think about like YouTube channels. I mean, that's what yeah. YouTube channels are, and YouTube videos thrive off of consistency of upload, right? Like the algorithm loves when you this is behind the scenes jargon, but like here, <laughs> people love when you are consistently uploading on a weekly basis at the same time, like people, you know, expect it, they are excited for it. So I feel like, you know, that's, that's what YouTube is. So I, I don't know if, if getting on and streaming every weekend is that overkill. I don't know. You know, see, I'm, I'm learning from the millennium. You see, I, I, I'm the old head. So I have to learn. I'm, I'm, I'm picking your brain here. I'm writing notes. Well, I just left it. out because I went to film school and one of the classes I took was like internet video. Like I totally left out on that one. That was like wow. a happy coincidence for this time. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. 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 Okay. All right. Thank you. So the, the man behind the voice, are you speaking live? Come in. Come in. Come in. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> So I was I was just asking if they have considered I've started to see Hold on, you need to you need to announce yourself, Mr. Oz. Oh hi, I'm Johnny Bravo. Hello, sir. Out here in Dallas, Texas. Running hey. in, in my Millennium Falcon. Big up to big up to uh, Texas. So no, I was wondering because now I'm starting to see bands that are playing live like full live shows and then charging, you know mm. um tickets they're they're moving on mm -hmm. to like a full full scale online production have you guys looked into that at all we have and actually originally the songs we've kind of been putting out right now like the specials cover was one of them and then we did a blurred cover those are actually from we filmed an entire live set um oh. and we had thought about doing that but instead we decided to chop it up and put it online um to just be able to have more content for people because we're mm. working on finishing like a meet and finishing chris grau if he's watching he'll be like you're not finishing it we're just starting on a music video <laughs> <laughs> that i'm being slow on uh yeah. getting everything together for but um yeah so we wanted to be able to have more content for people so people don't have to wait for basically me to finish getting all the things ready for the new music video we're gonna shoot so we decided to chop it up. But I, I think that's a really viable option for people. I think it's really cool. And we were looking into doing that. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a uh, pretty, pretty easy. And, you know, I say that we had Chris, like with all these cameras and all this shit, like <laughs> it was easy for me. I just, I'm sorry. Am I allowed to swear? I've been swearing this whole time. Sorry. I don't, it's too late now. It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, grandma. My grandma's watching. Sorry, grandma. Grandma, it's okay. I taught you well. <laughs> I taught you well, girl. <laughs> anyway, nice let's get back okay. here. Let's get back here. What can we say? It's all good. He'll, he'll put some beeps inside there. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> 
Yes, sir. So, <clears throat> your next project comes out in, in when? Next month? Next week? Just shout it out. When, when I finish it. No, uh, <laughs> hopefully soon. Oh, actually, we have another another cover coming out um, in the next couple weeks here, probably. So, well, that we, we're really just going all in on YouTube. I mean, that's the best way to get to people, and people seem to like it so far. So, um, we're just really trying to get out videos for everybody and hopefully soon we can get back to live shows and touring. But for now it's just YouTube and we're having fun making the YouTube videos. I mean, we don't really, we don't have fan practices right now because our practice space is really small. We can't socially distance. So, um, it's fun to do the videos and stuff cause we get to hang out and see each other. <laughs> So you guys don't have the little thermometer reader that you put on your arm or your or your your wrist. Well, like I said, horns are you yeah. know they just blow in the COVID around. So yeah. Yeah. we don't we're in a very small practice lockout. So we've been uh, kind of not been able to practice too much. Keep them outside, right? You put them outside, yeah. and you can still. Cool. Them <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but we, all the horn players in the comments are like, "F you guys." No. Yeah. Love horn players, love horn players. Love. But what? we uh, but we've been writing a lot, so we've got a lot of demos and stuff. So that's been really, really nice and. and Anything cool, you want? So. You feel like spitting right now? You wanna you wanna drop a little bit of alcohol? No, I can't. Yeah, I, can't no, no. I can't give away the secret. I thought Come you on. said you was a ham. You said you was a ham. I well, I was uh, a ham. Good lord, you should see the videos of me as a child dancing around to Oingo Boingo. Like seriously, my dad, my dad, like when he would watch me when my mom was like busy or taking a nap or whatever, you know, whatever she needed a break from me, he would just put the video camera on and like, let me dance in front of it to entertain me. Cause he didn't have to like do it. Like it was like easy for him. He's like, okay, I'll just sit here. And he knew that I would just like dance around. So we'd put on like Oingo Boingo or whatever. And like, there Shout I am. Shout out to Oingo Boingo. My yes. man, John. John produced got, our first record. Yeah. I got to yeah. I got to do it record. to, uh, to uh my dad he's the whole reason why i like ska music and all that jazz anyway so is that right yeah my dad i grew up listening to like a lot of like two-tone ska and uh like new new wave and stuff like that and and they had some of the third wave my parents were like in their like you know early 20s mid 20s in the 90s so um we had like no doubt albums and there's a video of me dancing around the no doubt as well and stuff like that goldfinger the first uh the, the goldfinger album that i can't remember the name of but it's got the big alien lady on it i was terrified of that my dad was like you can listen to the first song on the album and that's it and the first song is here in your bedroom so you listen wow. to that and then i have to turn it off because <laughs> there's oh, too many no. swear words in it <laughs> john john john, oh. Bad john. It's, it's just All funny right. now we're gonna um, say good night to you, young lady. What wow, thank you. So much. It's uh, five fifty. Oh, please, it's nothing for you over there. No, oh, no, I'm. S I got more wine. Like it's gonna be a party the rest of the night. So. No, uh, I'm afraid I drank too much water to have any more wine. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, huh? <laughs> I'm drowning! I'm drowning! <laughs> well, thanks for having me. This is really fun. You're welcome. Um. I guess we'll see you on the on the East Coast when you when this uh, stay at home thing is lifted and then we can yes. just go hang out. Let's do it. Um, we'll we'll wine in person. It'll be great. That's a different connotation in Jamaican. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> whole different connotation. <laughs> Shout out to the whole of the West Coast. Um, yeah. Damn, you know I'd like to see. Anyway, shout out to the whole of the West Coast, and um, we'll see you on the East Coast when this whole thing is lifted. Yes, hopefully soon. Until then, find us on the internet. Find us on And I YouTube. want some of that. I want some more of your music, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll send you some stuff. We're, uh, we're like I said, we're always trying to pump out new content. So two, two records you sent me. You sent me two records. <laughs> Do you know that? Two. <laughs> I will send you more. I will send you more. I was like, what's she doing? She only sent me two records. I well, I don't want to overload people. But overload me. Just <laughs> overload me. I, I have fun playing music, you know. You see yeah, me in the car, I'm, right? Oh, yeah. I actually thought for a minute that this might be in the car. I was like, do I get to be in the car? Should I get in a car? We all be in a car? No. Well, you know, on, on the Mondays and Fridays, you'll see me in the car and I'll, maybe I'll bring you in the car. I would love to be in the car. Bring me in okay. the car. We'll go for a drive. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did, did you say that on the? Did you say that on the screen on air? 
Why you don't say it on the air? Sorry, that's Johnny Bravo talking in the back there, saying he we can make this happen. <laughs> Thank you, Bambi, aka Talina. Thank you so much for your time and, and your energy. Thank you. And your Thank music you. and, and keep up the positivity, bring those people, bring more of young people into what we're doing and um, to bring Scott to a level where everyone can appreciate it. You guys are the future. So enough respect to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're trying cool. and you know, Scott's for everybody. It's just a good time. I don't know, people gotta get on it. It's a fun time. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Thanks, you too. All right, bless. Yeah.